Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bradicus of Bradicus Gaming, coming to you today with a new Let's Play series. We are doing Stardew Valley Challenges. Um, so, we are going to attempt to get perfection by the end of year two. Um, we can get, well, it's, it's a two year perfection period. So we can't officially achieve perfection until the first day of spring year three, okay? Because there's a recipe you have to get that's on the last day of winter year two. So the first day of spring, we want to go and basically end the game at that point <clears throat> and complete everything we possibly can. So here are a few things we need to go over before we get this in, um, start this. I'm going to be using a seed uh, to uh, play the game. Um, uh, it is a seed I ran across that is excellent, and I'm going to uh, continue using it because it's my my best my best seed. Um, next off is uh, we are going to be um, using some mods. Most of them are visual, but uh, just uh, for ease of life and stuff like that. And I'm going to go over those with you right now. We're going to be using seasonal cute characters, animated fish, animated food and drinks, animated mining pack. Animated slime and uh, eggs and loops just to add some visual addition to the game. We're going to be using um, automated gates, animal observer, which basically lets me know that uh, if the animals have been petted or not. Um, we're also going to be using look up anything, which lets me look up things inside the game instead of having to go back and forth between the wiki. Uh, we'll also be looking up uh, rain. Or we'll also be using range highlight, which allows me to set up all my farming stuff without having to count piles all the const constantly. Um, and that is oh, and simple crop label, so I can uh, hover my mouse over a crop and actually know what it is. Uh, so if I end up uh, planting a bunch of um, a bunch of mixed seeds or something like that, I kn I know what's going on. So. Uh, and that is it. There's a lot of, oh, and NPC map locations so I can find people faster without having to stop and look them up in the wiki. So this is actually the third time I have attempted this in recording. You can see I got this last one into summer year two, uh, and I was getting ready to clean everything up, but guess what we're going to do? That's done. <laughs> so I'm not, uh. I'm not doing that one. Uh, and the reason why I'm going to delete it is because if I use the exact same name for the same file, I don't have to recreate a whole bunch of stuff for one of the mods. So let's go ahead and let's set up our character. I'm gonna make my character look like me. Not like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do Bradicus. We're going to do the Phoenix Farm. And my favorite thing is... You know... What. Uh, uh, let's just do... We'll do Baja Blast. Okay. That's what I did last time. We'll do a doggo. I'm probably actually not going to do the doggo this time just so I don't have to spend stuff to fence them in because I'm going to fence them in anyways. Go ahead and do the standard farm. We're going to guarantee the year one complete. Um, and we're going to go down here and do a random seed. And feel free to use this one. This seed is going to allow us to get into... Uh, Ginger Island and Fall, year one. Five, six, one, nine, one, one. Two, nine, four, five, six, one, nine, one, one. And here's some other excellent seeds. This is, <clears throat> this is the best of my seeds, but here's a couple other seeds that you guys, if you want to do this, okay, there's some other seeds I have. Two, nine, four, five, six, one, seven, one, six. Two, nine, four, Five six one six eight one two nine four five six one six six two and two nine four five six one zero seven nine. Those are all excellent seeds. Um, but this is by far the best seed I've ever come across. 
so much so that I have it saved <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a file. So I um, always have it. Okie dokie. Uh, we got all that done. Okay, we're going to skip the intro. There's no reason. Oops, hold on real fast, guys. There we go. So we're going to skip the intro. Um, we're going to get right right to it. Uh, my For some reason, my hair color is blue. I don't know why I messed that up. There we go. Just double check that. Okay, okay. We're just going to do a standard farm. Uh, that way we can um, complete that basically everything that I need to do. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and move my bed over there. I'm going to grab this plant. And I'm also going to be using a method called action canceling. So you'll see me... Uh, uh, moving significantly faster than um, most normal uh, animation would be doing. Okay. I got my TV and I'm gonna just dump it right here. We got some settings to change real quick. I'm gonna show advanced crafting. I'm gonna drop the music down just a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna mute animal sounds. Uh, I like my UI scale about 80. And of course we're gonna zoom out all the way. Lighting effects are all the way maxed. And then we set emotes to P because I hit the Y button a lot. And um, I really don't want um, to have the emote menu popping up all the damn time. I know a lot of people like to do the uh, <clears throat> first part of the farm a little closer to the house, but I actually like to do mine right next to the water, so. And I guess we can do the rest of it right here. We're going to knock out a big chunk right now. Go ahead and cut down this tree. We need some wood anyways. And we're going to go ahead and do this one real fast. So our one week goals for the game is to... <clears throat> Get enough money to buy whatever we want uh, here at the beginning, upgrade our backpack probably, and uh, kind of get things uh, rolling. We're not going to be focusing heavily on farming the first couple weeks <clears throat> because we can basically fish through most of everything, but we do need to meet a very specific standard for some of our skill levels. <clears throat> so we need to get farming up to a certain point, okay? Uh, we need to get foraging up to a certain point. And um, we need to meet those specific goals to make the game run smooth, basically. So that being the case, um, let me chop down a couple more trees. I need a little bit more wood here make my first chest so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a lot of fishing uh, we're going to do just enough farming to meet a very specific standard uh, we're going to be trying to get into the skull caverns like a sap so that is going to be um, some of the challenges we're going to need to get okay let's go ahead and drop down our first chest here I like to start one, two, three, one, two, right here. Okie dokie. And we're gonna go ahead and bust that rock just in case. All right, we're gonna go do start our first foraging run here. Now I've, because I'm using the same seed, I have a very good idea of what we're gonna be looking at here. 
Um, but, um, not 100% sure. We're probably going to be getting a lot of horse radishes. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to, for the first few, um, for the first few runs here to make it so my day is just easier, we're going to be looking at, um, screenshots. So here we go. So we got a horse radish here. We got a horse radish here. We got a dandelion. We don't have anything up here. And nothing down here. And we don't have any spring onions. Oh, we have one spring onion and a couple dandelions down here. I'm going to pick that spring onion that's going immediately to the bin. Oh, we got a couple spring, little spring onions. That's not common for this uh, seed. So, um... We are going to run and grab that dandelion. And then we are going to, and that, uh, these horseradishes, we're just going to eat them as we go. Uh, but we're just going to make sure we get all of them for energy because we just basically blew all of our energy doing what we just did. And I need more energy. Basically, the first few days, everything kind of goes into energy. So. Okay. So I tell you, I really got far in the game and I was like knocking on the door of getting my golden clock and uh, which is a 10 million gold purchase if you've never really played the game. And uh, it, it really broke my heart to realize that I never shipped a spring onion because it was running smooth and I had recovered from some pretty detrimental situations in the game. So we're going to eat two of these spring onions. I'm going to save one. Okie dokie. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working our way in to meet all the villagers. Um, so we can start racking up some money. We got Leah coming out of the house right now. We got Joss. She should actually be walking out of the house any second here. I've ran this gambit so many times that I um, kind of have some of their stuff memorized. I know certain characters' time frames very well. Got Haley. Running here. Okay. We gotta just make sure we hit Elliot. Um, he's going to be rolling out here in about an hour or so. We're going to be looking at the map quite a bit to make sure we hit just about everybody. Uh, I'm going to try to catch Sam before he runs away. And we're going to hit Alex before he runs away. So he's going to go into his room for most of the day. Grab Pam right here. You're going to be keeping a very close eye on um elliot because he's um if we don't catch him at a certain time we're not going to catch him today so okay he is out <clears throat> we're gonna run down there and go grab him we grab penny real fast come on penny ah click on her oh i've already talked to her okay that's why I was like <laughs> all right so we're gonna grab elliot and then we gotta start working our way north. Uh, the one item I'm gonna grab here is the cockle. We actually pound down these spring onions. We're not spring onions; these uh, horseradishes. Uh, so I can pick up these other two. All right. Okie um, <clears throat> let's start working our way up north. We got a couple hours till we need to be up north, but we need to be up north by about three o'clock. So I can um, grab Sebastian. 
Now, you don't have to do this in the game um, the uh, first day um, because this is actually um, not, it's not really that necessary. It just gives me just a touch of extra gold uh, to get going for a few things. And uh, that's kind of what my goal is. So tomorrow things aren't as rough. So I think we have enough time to grab. We already talked to Marnie. We got all them. We just need to get uh, Pierre to grab Caroline real fast. <laughs> I got enough time to um, do this. So we got Leah already. This is one of my first goals to get that second backpack. And we're gonna get a, a better fishing rule, uh, rod. Go ahead and talk to Caroline. Okay, let me talk to Evelyn. And I need to run in and talk to George. And Maru's coming down, but we have to actually start heading up north. So. I think there is a chance that we might miss Sebastian if we don't rush. <clears throat> Hopefully I can catch him right as he's heading back into his room. I think we might be good. Oh, I'm gonna I got him. I got him for sure. There's Robin. We've already talked to Robin, actually. You don't have to talk to Robin. That's just routine. Okay, Sebastian's done. Go ahead and grab Demetrius real fast. look around see if there's any surprises i don't think there is going to be okay, let's grab linus and let's see who we're at okay who are we missing got marnie joss i got pam elliot uh sam i got clint i got elliot I haven't hit Lewis, I haven't hit Willie, but there's some, oh, and Gus. <laughs> okay, we're gonna run back to the uh, Hacienda and we are going to go and um, drop off a few things. Let me see what comes out of this. Okay, um, actually, we need to make it back to Pierre's. I made a mistake. I didn't uh, grab. Actually, I'm not going to I'm not going to make it. That's OK, though. It's no, not a big deal. We just need we could have planted some more um, some more parsnips, but. It's not it's not a not a big deal. Okay, the spring onions absolutely going right in here. Um, let me see. Sometimes he stays there at the um, counter for a minute longer. I kind of doubt I'm going to make that, but. Yeah, I missed it. So let me see. Yeah. <clears throat> so we missed that part, but that's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and let's hit Gus. We already got Elliot, let's hit Lewis. And that should put us right at where we want to be. So tomorrow we'll hit Willie and we will be rolling on that. Oh, um, maybe. No, no, no. It's not, um, should have gotten a full introduction on Lewis. So who did we miss? 
<clears throat> Did I talk to Linus? I'm with somebody. Maybe it was Emily. I think I missed Emily. Thinking about it. Was it? Okie dokie. So we got everybody greeted. That's more important than planting the damn crops anyways. So um, you'll you'll notice that the first the first month crops is really not my priority. I will not be making any of my money from crops. So like I'll make money from them, but they're not <clears throat> they're not my money maker. So I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so my money maker is definitely other things uh we're gonna be doing a shit ton of fishing so and i'm actually um i'm going to be um fast forwarding through a lot of fishing so um we're gonna because i uh, basically, I'm just gonna sit and fish, 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 fish for the first month, basically. Um, so, uh, you're not gonna be seeing me do much else. There's no purpose on doing a whole lot else. Uh, I'll be doing some mine dives, which I'm gonna do live. Um, but basically, I'm just gonna we're fishing. We're gonna fast forward it. We're gonna play music, and we're going to just go, 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 go. Um. So basically I'm going to be spending at least half of this month fishing. So the first the first month is going to go by really fast in your guys' time. It's going to go by really slow in my time because <laughs> it is really slow. <laughs> so Okay, we're just going to kind of clean up a little bit around here since I didn't have to water everything. I'm going to go ahead and um, do a little cleanup and then we'll have to make sure we pick up those extra parsnips tomorrow. Okay, let's go ahead and unload all this. Unload that, unload that, unload that. All right, let's go ahead and knock down these little trees. I don't want these growing in. Beautiful. Uh, I think I have enough energy to knock down a chunk of a tree. That's pretty much it um, for today. Not much else going on. We're gonna do a little bit of cleanup around the farm. Let me see, make sure I hit, I hit forging level one, great. Uh, we're gonna shake some trees, break some, um, Break some weeds around. Try to get some extra seeds. Uh, I'm going to let grass grow on one side of the farm. But uh, we're going to be neglecting cleaning up the farm for quite a while. So we'll probably get it done summer, maybe. Um, but it's not our priority. Um, just enough space to pull off what we need to pull off. And what we need to pull off is, I think, uh, farming level 5 or 6. We have to hit farming level six for quality sprinklers by summer. So that's kind of the goal. Now we're not worried about going exhausted um, because every time we reach a level, we um, on something. So if it's foraging, farming, whatever, um, we will get um, full energy the next day. So it is totally fine for us to... Um, Totally fine for us to uh, burn ourselves out. So, clean up all this graph 
grass and stuff like that because um, I want to be able to maneuver through this whole entire zone without um, any kind of hindrance. So... And also we want to push back the growth towards us. So, probably going to lose crops to crows and stuff for sure in the first few days. Always do. Okay, I am satisfied with that. Let's go ahead and unload all this. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our stuff. We're going to be saving the leaks right now. Um, we can hand out... Let's see. Might as well knock that out. Might as well knock that out. That out, that out, that out, that out. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just dump all this. I'm... <clears throat> the reason why I'm shipping certain items is because we might as well get it out of the way right now uh, so we can start paying closer attention to some of the more important things later on. So, go ahead and load all this. We'll go ahead and end the day right there. We don't need to do much else. <clears throat> Okay. We're going to go ahead and water our plants real quick. We don't have a whole lot to water today, so we'll have a little bit of extra energy. Okay. Well, we're going to start our foraging through the north first. And then we'll work our way over to Cinder Snap Forest to finish our farming, our foraging over there. Uh, actually, what I do need to do before I go, let me go ahead and break some of these stones and stuff. And I start clearing this area up. I want my pathing to be pretty much open, so I'm not having to weave. We're going to leave a couple things there. Uh, you know what? We actually need to bring our scythe with us. We don't need to bring a watering can, though. Um, we are going to just do a touch of foraging to um, pick up any items that we can eat um, that will increase our profits. And then we're going to make our way over to see Willie down at the beach. First radish up there. Let me actually swing down here real fast, see if we get a leak or anything. Uh, nope. Okay. Coal there. Starts our archaeology. get a later start on the fishing um but that's okay so there is a method where we can pause when we hit something up like that and make it come towards us but i'm not uh, interested in spending all the time doing that uh, the other thing we actually need to do though real quick is we need to um make a quick chest so i'm gonna bring that with us uh i got 60 wood already Okay, dump that back in, and I think we're going to bring horse radish with us. Let's just go pop down to Cinder Snap Forest if we don't see anything super interesting, which we probably are. I probably see some um, 
some um, spring onions or something like that. Okay. And we will grab it. So. Okay, we're going to pause. Go down here. Snap a photo. Open it up. Okie dokie. No. Nothing interesting there. Nada. Am I looking at the right one? Yeah. Uh, we only got one item. Did I see? Okay. So, give me just a second here. I'm like, I try to keep these deleted. These files deleted when I screenshot them so I'm not looking at uh, ones that are obsolete so we're just gonna run over and grab that dandelion and now we're gonna make our way down to the beach i'll be doing a fish mode okay uh i'll play some music in the background and just kind of fast forward all of it Now, I have found that um, for the first few levels, uh, spring fishing, for me, is easier to just hang out down the ocean, okay? Um, we will go up to the lake. There's a lot of money up at the lake. Um, but for the first few levels, I'm going to just pump the, the ocean. It's easier for me. Um, there's guys that will go and catch catfish and stuff on the third day. And I tell you, uh, I try to uh, maximize my energy, and I'm not that super great at fishing. So I am not um, going to attempt to ca catch fish uh, this early on. So go ahead and skip the rest of that. Okay, we're going to knock down our chest real fast. This, I know this is a safe spot right here. I'm going to put this right here. Uh, we're going to just take a real quick, quick peruse around to look for uh, any forgeables uh, that we can sell to Willy. We have until... Five-ish that we can... Um, uh, kind of do a few things, okay? Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and give him this. Talk to him. That's going to give us a few extra gold. Hopefully we can get a rod today. I doubt it uh, because we're getting a late start. And um, we're just going to kind of hit the uh, mini game here. I might actually talk through this first bout. Um, what we're trying to do now is um, get as much money as we can, okay, to get to the um, get to the uh, fishing rod of um, the fiberglass fishing rod. And because I'm actually going to go ahead and skip buying the extra seeds, uh, parsnip seeds, we're not going to uh, invest in that. We're going to go ahead and invest in the fiberglass rod because we're going to make way more money in um, fishing than we are going to in farming. Um, we just have to meet a certain standard of farming level, like I said before. So it's not a huge, um, not a huge ordeal in this. Saving that 500 gold towards the fiberglass rod is going to end up being more money anyways. Okay, so basically what we're trying to do here is <clears throat> rack up as much money as we possibly can before 5 o'clock. Alright, and then um, we will go into the mines uh, pretty early, but the mines, um, we want to dive the mines on good luck days, to be honest, because diving in on any other day is really um, a waste of time. Uh, except for the first 20 levels. 
Um, we will um, dive down to level 20, uh, maybe even into 30 the first uh, like five days. But um, I'd really like to get my um, backpack before we do that. So, but we also need to get an ancient seed. Um, and hopefully we can find it out of a treasure chest early. But um, I doubt we're going to get that. And we're going to hit every single treasure chest that we possibly can. Basically all of them. I might miss a couple, but I'm going to hit almost all the treasure chests. That's going to open up our forge. And another thing we're going to do is probably build a recycling machine very early. Uh, that way... Um, get him a little higher here. Uh, that way we can take all the shit that we're... Um, that we are... Um, all the junk that we're catching okay we're gonna catch a lot of junk uh, uh, let me go ahead and empty my bags real quick uh let me go ahead and run up to um let me take a second here let me run up to gunther's and turn this in this will only take a minute We're not going to hit the amount of money we need anyways today. We'll probably hit it tomorrow for the fiberglass rod. We're going to go ahead and skip this event for the sake of time. If you've never played this game and you're watching me for the first time play this game, please just go buy the game. It's $14. Go play it. It is definitely worth your time. So we just need to get 800 gold at this point. So yeah, we'll dive the mines, um, but we want to get an ancient seed. Um, and ancient seeds grow into ancient fruit. They take a really, really long time to grow. Um, but we are going to shoot for multiple ancient seeds this month um the more we get producing right now the um more we are going to have for spring and if we can get a full farm of spring of ancient fruit and spring we are going to be um producing significant gold um in fact it'll be it'll get to the point where can I process enough stuff through jars and kegs and the processing equipment uh, to meet the um, amount of fruit and stuff I'm going to be actually um, actually planting? So we will be doing um, uh, star fruit on the island. Uh, at least for the time being until unless I get really lucky with ancient seed um, let me see if I can actually go get that bubbling water here in just a second if I get really lucky with ancient seed okay and I get start chunking out ancient seed and significant amounts which I I doubt we'll get to that point not quite there Um, if we get enough ancient seed, which we can farm ancient seed too, um, you can farm that shit. It's not common, but you can hit one, two a day. I've, I've actually gotten up to three of them in a, in a good luck day. So, um, it's not super hard to do. And, uh, but if you get like, if I can get like five or six of them by the end of, uh, spring, we are going to fill the entire farm with ancient fruit. Mm -hmm. This is my last cast. Okay, let 
let me grab all my stuff real fast. We gotta go and load to Willy. Let's see where we're at. I don't think we got quite enough. about 300 gold off but we will get the uh, pull tomorrow could have got it today but and the other thing we need to do is we need to build uh let's see for uh 25 sprinklers i think regular sprinklers I'm going to phase out my sprinklers as fast as I possibly can. Um, we don't want regular sprinklers. I hate regular sprinklers a lot. And I really don't want to have anything to do with them. I think they are the worst thing in this game. <laughs> so. Okay. Getting some early coal, that's for sure. So we'll get sprinklers, uh, about 25 of them, just enough to get me up to the farming level I want to get to. And then um, once we reach that farming level and we have quality sprinklers, uh, we phase out the regular sprinklers. I will never use them again. And I will farm up the enough um, stuff to phase them completely out. I do not want to use them unless I have to use them. I'll hold on to them just in case I need to use them for something but I don't want to use them at all. The only reason I will use them right now is to phase out um, watering plants. Uh, that is it. And what we are going to do is uh, we are going to go into strawberries. Um, that will help us reach our goal to hit the farming level we need to hit. So... Now, we might end up having to eat a few of these fish. I do have my reserve of uh, food. But we may end up eating fish at some point, so. I do see some bubbling water back there. Let me see if I can hit that or not, because sometimes those run for hours. We're going to try to grab this. We're going to see how long it lasts. This one creep up. Oh. Ah, oh, it happens. There's another one. So, we also need to make sure we're going to be getting a lot of stuff out of the traveling cart to uh, force the um, to force the um, the community center through. If we wanted to really mid max, um, we would go JoJo, uh, JoJo Mart. Um, I don't think anybody's interested in doing JoJo Mart, but. We could go that route. I'm not that asshole that would do that. So we will definitely do the community center. And this game is set up to run the community center. Uh, if we do everything correctly and we don't miss anything, we'll open up the community center by... Um, oh, about... Um, February... Or, uh, I'm sorry, fall... Um, fall 15th or 16th. Somewhere in there, uh, it'll be, um, usually it hits the day of the Sardew Valley Fair, is usually when I get it. So, um, let me go ahead and work my way back over here real fast. 
So the day of the Stardew Valley Fair, after the fair is uh, done, I usually um, I usually can um, get the um, get the community center open. If we get certain items, uh, if we get lucky and are able to pick up like red cabbage really early, like red cabbage seeds uh, during summer, uh, because it, that will randomly generate. Um, if we can get those uh, before um, or before like the last week of uh, last two weeks of summer, we will uh, get in earlier. We can get in by the ninth if we do it correctly. So this day is almost done. We still have plenty of energy. We're going to go until we almost pass out. Um, I'll actually probably go into exhaustion if I can. I'm going to hold on to a seaweed. We just have to make it in, on uh, at home on time because of the amount of gold I have. So I see some bubbling water there. Hopefully I can catch another fish here move over that bubbling water because I think I can reach that. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's see if we can reach that bubbling water. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got that. So I am trying to get max cast and get per perfect, but like I said, I'm not that great at um, fishing. So... Um, <laughs> There are guys that will hit perfects like every time. I'm not one of those guys. So that's why I like to fish at the beach early on. The goal is though is to reach a certain amount of money. Whoops. We're starting to get exhausted and that's okay. And we will run a recycling machine. I'll build a recycling machine because I'm going to start processing all these glasses and crap um, to um, make um, refined quartz. Because of the amount of coal investment that is involved. So I can save like 10 or 15 coal early on just by um, building a recycling machine. It's a little bit of wood, a little bit of effort, and it's a bar, I think. I think I have to make a copper bar or something. But so you spend one or two coal and you save like 15 coal early on. And um, that makes uh, life a lot easier. We do want to try to avoid, uh, 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 avoid buying a shit ton of coal and wood and stone. Stone, I will probably buy a shit ton of at the end of the year. I'm going to need thousands and thousands of stone and um let's see if i'm gonna lose this got him um we need thousands and thousands of stone and we're gonna pick up a lot of stone but we need thousands of stone i need like seven or eight thousand stone at minimum maybe even more than that i might even buy like ten thousand stone at the end of the year I'll probably take a very good chunk of my money invested in stone. If we are done fishing for the day. What we're going to do is we're going to dump all of our fish and uh, this recycling and the, the um, stuff like that. We're going to haul back everything that's not fish related right now that we can fit into our bag. Uh, we can leave the dandelion here. And we will be back tomorrow to continue fishing. So tomorrow my fishing is going to go much, much faster. Um, it's not going to be, you know, at the level I want it to be at. But it's going to go significantly faster. If I could build a trapper, I would fish catfish, but it's just not, not going to happen. Catfish are a waste of energy. I can't catch them yet. I may catch one. 
Um, but I'm not going to catch many. I can catch eel for sure, but I, I'm not going to catch many catfish. Okay, we need to look at stuff we can sell. We can sell these. We're going to sell these. I'm going to hold on to that. Let's go ahead and go uh, fill up our watering can real fast. We'll just hit the bed early. Um, Yeah, we'll hit the bed early tonight. It doesn't really matter. Okie dokie. Um, we are not going to uh, do much else. He's going to give us our schematic for our forge. We can't build it yet. So um, we are going to go ahead and leave this, 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 and this here for bag space. Um, I'm not going to um, do a whole lot else. We don't need to um, even touch our crops today. I don't need wood for anything at the moment. Our goal today is to fish, 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 fish until we cannot fish anymore. I will actually eat into fish. I have some dandelions and a horseradish here just in case I need to. Um, but we are not going to do anything but fish today. We are going to make as much money as possible. And then tomorrow we're going to plant um, all of the um, stuff that we need. talk to Willie. Now we don't want to um, level Louie or with Louie Willie. I'm sorry Willie. We don't want to level Willie up until a certain point in the game. Um, if you level Willie up to level six um, he will have an event that where you have to clear a bunch of crabs out of his room out of his little office. And that being the case, um, we need to, um, oh, and, and that will proc a event uh, that will cause Gus to sell crab cakes in his, um, in his shop for three days. Um, so at that point, we need to have about 150,000 gold to drop on crab cakes. Maybe 100,000 gold, I think, actually. is a little better. I think it's what I did last game. We want to buy about 150 to 200 crab cakes during that three-day period. The crab cakes are an excellent source of speed boost. And um, it is uh, the only way I know how to get that much uh, speed boost over a um, short amount of time. Uh, you could do like pepper poppers, uh, but you have to get cheese to do that. And that actually probably take you three or four months to produce that much cheese. Um, unless you just did all cows. And the other thing about um, the crab cakes is they actually give you defense. So they're really actually quite nice for um, uh, running the mines and stuff like that, you know, uh, going to the uh, early on really early skull caverns or something like that. Early skull cavern runs. You really want to do luck at that point, but you could do early skull cavern runs with it on or, you know, anything you get into, you're not concerned. I'm not, you know, I don't get concerned about... Um, my def you know me running it because i have defense on so okay we are going to go ahead and buy the fiberglass rod we are going to dump the bamboo pole and we are going to buy a whole bunch of bait okay uh probably actually go ahead and spend all my money on bait so i don't have to buy it later 
could buy trout soup and go attempt to um, fish up other stuff, but I want to go ahead and do this. And this will allow me to fish up a shit ton more fish. And basically, we should have a problem with energy at this point. If we need to stop and we start racking up a whole bunch of gold uh, worth of fish and go forage, that is worth it. But right now, our goal is to get enough money for fit, uh, from the fish before 5 o'clock that we can buy other stuff. So... If I'm if I'm do good at, do good at the fishing here, I'm going to be able to get probably um, a couple thousand gold right now. So over the next few hours. But yeah, the crab cakes are definitely the jam. Okay, and then you can start popping them. They and they last all day. Uh, you may have to pop them once later on in the day, but they last basically all day long. So, um, crab cakes are the best speed boost by far. You just have to make a huge um, gold investment into it early on in the game when it's really, uh, you're kind of hurting for gold. But it is definitely worth, <laughs> definitely worth. And we're going to start, um, we will start producing coffee uh, pretty much as soon as we can. Um, coffee is uh, the jam too. The only thing is though, you have to have kegs to make it into coffee and you have to buy the triple shot espresso. I usually start my mass coffee production um, by the end of fall. I'll usually have my crab cakes around the same time, so... So what we're going to do here, though, is we are going to fish here into the night. I'm going to start catching eel. Um, I want to um, catch as many eel as I possibly can today. Um... They are a good experience, um, and they are... I want to catch Flounder and Halibut, too. They're a great experience. So what we're trying to do right now is just boost up our experience so we can catch the harder fish a lot more efficiently without blowing a bunch of fucking energy. I would go and fish catfish. It's just I'm going to lose so many of them that it's actually just not worth it. Oops, I missed that one. For every catfish I can, you know, that I lose, I can catch, you know, five sardines or something. So, because it's going to take forever per cast. Um, and, you know, if I lose, I might lose three when I could have caught, you know, six sardines or something. So. And, uh, you know, five sardines are uh, about the same price as a catfish right now. A little less, but... And we're not trying to mid-max, we're just trying to get through a, a huge chunk of stuff here. And we want to get enough money to get into certain things, so. We're going to move over and we're going to hit that fishing hole. So the biggest obstacles in our way for this game our friendship which we don't need to really do much in year one um that is um a big obstacle um but we can do almost all the friendship year two um maybe we start kind of i kind of start late winter year one we do want to hit up people on their birthdays hey look we got the little um the lagoon dude the creature from the black lagoon right there I see him every game because I spend so much time fishing out here, but 
A lot of people haven't seen them, I guess. Consider a rare event. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I made a mistake there. Okay. Fortunately, we're going to have to toss an anchovy for money. Let me go ahead and throw this fish in here. I should have been paying a closer attention there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, friendship is one of the bigger obstacles, but if we start focusing on it winter, uh, year one, um, you know, hit up as many people as we can. Hit birthdays year one. Okay. Doesn't matter what we give them. Let's just give them give them what we can unless they're completely out of the way at that point in time um you know if we have something that's super important like a um skull caverns dive or something like that we can go ahead and skip a birthday year one but year two we have to absolutely hit everybody's birthday uh we can't miss one we have to hit them all uh, or we're gonna have major problems um the if we can if we have something together for the luau Year one, we will do the luau. Um, year two, we have to hit the luau. So year one is not as detrimental, but year two is a detrimental luau. That's going to uh, chunk out a lot of people for the uh, friendship problems. So, and then our second issue is money. Um... It will depend on these first mine dives if we are going to make the amount of money um, that we need to make. Um, with all the perfection stuff, we're not we're not mid maxing gold here. Uh, there's a difference between completion and mid maxing gold. Okay, but we have to meet a very very high standard of gold. We need to be able to produce uh, net income of 14 million gold in at least two years you can do that 14 million gold uh probably a lot earlier um i know i know there's times where people have made like millions of gold in the first year um i'm not one of those people um but i have other things i want to do in the game um that we need to do to meet the perfection so it's not about racking up multi millions of gold the year one okay it's about prepping for year two um, to meet the perfection. We will we'll make, we'll get to the point where we're making about a million gold a week. At least that, maybe 1.4 million gold a week. Um, and But it's all going to be automated, which will allow us to do everything else we need to do in the game. So we're going to build Jumino huts. Uh, that's one reason why we want to have ancient fruit because of um, the fact that it's multi-seasonal. We don't have to, to pick it and, and reseed it. Uh, if we get enough of it, we'll actually do the island with it too. Um, starfruit is great and everything, but you have to reseed it, and that takes time. Um, or replant it. We're not going to seed it, but we have to plant it. And that takes significant amount of time to do that. And we want to cut back on all the time we we, um, we have to do in farming. So. Let's take a look at where we're at here. Go hit this dandelion and all these real fast. We got about another hour uh, before we need to sell to Willie, and then we're probably going to stop for a minute and go plant some stuff. And we'll probably end up turning in some stuff to Gunther to get our bags kind of emptied. I think um, tomorrow we can um, go ahead and go fish the lake um, for some extra cash. Uh, we catch a lot of anchovies and cheap fish here. 
and um, I like to spend kind of the morning at the lake, and then I'll come down here at night. But one of the things I want to knock out early um, with the um, ocean fishing is getting the eel out of the way. I need a very specific amount of eel, um, and if I can get it done right now, it's even better. So... And then basically at a certain point, I don't need to do any more ocean fishing except for just catch uh, a, a couple. Um, I'll catch, I need to catch like three sardines altogether. Um, I already have them, but I'm going to be selling them right now uh, to get all the gold I can. Okay, we only have a few more casts until the fishing day is over. But we have a couple hauls we're going to need to make over to Willie's, so. Okay. Uh, well, the fishing day isn't over. It's just that um, the sell day is over for Willie. So, we go ahead and grab all the fish. Okay, I can probably get one more cast in. I'll just cast right here. That's good enough. Let's go ahead and dump all this fish. Okay, I would like to get... About 2,000 more gold together for tomorrow. I'm sorry, uh, get up to 2,000 gold for tomorrow. I think that is the eel. Eel number one. Okay, so we can, I have this mod that lets me open this up. So we're going to need one for um, fish tank night fishing, okay? We need one for spicy eel and one for fried eel. So we need to go ahead and catch three of these. Um, but I also need to get over to Gunther's here in a second, and we're going to turn in some items just to get them out of my bag. Okay, this is the last cast for the moment. Let me go ahead and grab these. I think I can make it over to Gunther's. Boy, it's going to be close. I may not make it. If I don't make it, I'm going to uh, go forage for a minute. I'm not going to make it. Okay. Let's just see what the forgeables look like real quick. We got a nice grip of spring onion that we probably need to go pick up. Don't really see anything else over here. Nothing up there. I don't see any horseradish anywhere. Okay. So let's go grab those spring onions that will carry us through um, the rest of the day of the fishing that we need to do. I probably actually should go and take a look at leeks. Thought there was 
some more down here. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay. these spring onions will carry us through um for uh the rest of the day so we just need to catch about 700 gold more of fish um that should um get us the bag for tomorrow we need to do a little bit of forage or not tomorrow um for friday friday the uh, mines open up we'll go down there um we're gonna dive Quite a bit and see if we can um get down to level 20 hopefully we don't have a bad um luck day <laughs> which way i think we probably end up will having a bad luck day because i always do um And we need to get a better weapon hopefully in the next day or two if we're really lucky really lucky we can pick up like a um uh, a special sword for fishing i doubt it <laughs> it's really uncommon i've picked it up maybe once or twice my best luck has been uh picking up um an iridium band by the seventh of uh spring uh from fishing because you can get an iridium band from fishing so Okay, here's our second eel. And let's shoot for our third eel. There we go. And then the rest of them can get sold. And eel aren't the best priced fish, um, you know, it's, but they give a uh, good experience uh, for the first few levels. Tomorrow we're going to go fish the lake and we will make a lot more money uh, that way. We will get um, a bunch of um, large mouth bass. They definitely make much, much more money than any of these fish do, so. But if we get enough experience um, doing these fish, we are more likely to hit um, higher quality fish later on. So, oh, I forgot to grab the... Um, spring onions. I'm going to have to grab some spring onions in a second here. Just a second here. Now, we're not worried about going over sluggish. We're definitely going to hit another level of fishing today, so... If not two levels, possibly. We're going to go up to about midnight. I have just enough gold in my bags that I do not want to... Um, I do not want to uh, lose any because these first spends that I'm going to do, these first um, uh, things I'm going to spend money on, I don't want to uh, you know, have to stop and get a fish. So... Mm -hmm. 
I'd really like to see a Neptune blade. Um, that would really uh, make my day. I get a Neptune blade. If I can, I don't know if you can actually get weapons until you open up the mines, but uh, if I can get a Neptune blade, like, early on, you are, like, straight up gold. Um, I don't need to worry about weapons at all. And I can immediately start farming for um, uh, ancient seeds. And that's more important than actually diving the mines. Now, also, the other thing about treasure chests is it gives us um, more experience, so. Uh, kind of going over some of the beginner stuff. I'm sure basically everybody's played um, Stardew Valley, but when you um, hit a perfect fish, I think max casts also give more experience. I'm not sure, or they allow you to catch rare fish. Um, you, um, okay, we're, this is the end right now, so. so. If you hit a perfect fish, you get a max cast, I believe, applies to experience. It might be just, you get better quality fish anyways on max cast. I think that might be what it is. Um, or you hit a treasure chest, you get more experience, so. Okay, let's go ahead, let me pop a spring onion because I'm sluggish right now. Okay, we're going to drop our spring onions here. Um, we are going to grab everything of value that we can. We can leave the ore here right now. Uh, because we're not going to be doing anything with it right now. And then if we have space, we can bring it with us. Like now we can bring it with us. Okay. That should be good. Um, now let's go ahead and haul everything back. Let's dump it in the fishing bin. And, um, we will, um, kind of clean up a little bit, maybe some weeds or something like that. Get ready for the next day and, uh, get the next day started. So these videos are also going to go two hours. Because there's just so much content we have to go through. Unlike my romance videos where I can do them in like, you know, 30 videos is 30 hours. This is like 60 hours worth of content. So, okay, we can sell these gold ones. I got three here. We're going to hold on to those three. We're going to sell the geodes and these. These go into the bin right now. That is good. We are clean there. Um, let me get up my stuff for tomorrow. We're going to need a scythe. Actually, let me grab my pickaxe and see if I can... Yeah, I better not risk it. Let's just go to bed. Let me grab my watering can. Okay. Oh, we're getting a ferry, so we're going to have everything pop a day early. That's great. Uh, we hit level 3 fishing, we hit level 4 fishing. I think we are going to get our bag today. Okay, it's an annoyed day, so the chances of me getting um getting what I want is probably zero. I'm actually gonna take just a second for a quick break. And I will edit out the break 
So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, there's a few things we need to do here. Um, I need to... What are my plants? Real fast. Uh, just these ones. We need to cut down a couple trees. Pick up that oak. chop more trees than I have to. I need one more tree. That is perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and make a chest. This is something we will need today. Drop. Actually, I better just start bringing my hoe with me. Got all that, got all that. We're gonna go and dump most of this. Grab that. Oh, not that. Uh, we might as well bring that with us. Uh, we're gonna need it anyways. Okay, it's 7 a.m. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go check out foraging first because uh, we have more than enough time for the day, so couple of those out so we uh i think he opens up at eight if i remember correctly let me actually look real fast uh 9 a.m so we have till nine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab as many forageables as we can no spring onions I see nothing. Nada. No horseradishes, no nothing. Okay. Well, that was bunk. So we're going to go into the other direction then. And we're going to um, check out the um, bus stop real fast and see if there's anything there. Go ahead and take actually a second here. We're gonna need um, we're gonna need to um, cut down a couple more trees for a scarecrow, actually. So let's do that right now. Whoops. Oh. Wrong item. I do want to get. Um, Do you want to go get that um the seeds that i need to get right now i need to get that done like immediately i don't want to spend the entire day doing farming stuff so level one farming not yet well then we are going to be able to do that tomorrow let me go ahead and hit that let me double check up here and make sure i'm not missing a leak or something oh, just a dandelion or daffodil Okay, 
first things first, we're gonna purchase our bag. Go ahead and sell those off. We need a bean starter. We need a cauliflower. We need um, probably five, 10, 15, 20 parsnips. And the rest are going into potatoes for right now. You're gonna see a lot of events popping um, that um, aren't going to... How long do I have on that? Two days? We'll see if it rains and I'll catch a catfish. I'll have to catch two catfish though. Six hundred gold for a catfish is really nice right now. So, all right, let's go ahead and get all this stuff into the ground real fast. Luckily, a lot of it's already tilled. It won't take as much work. The reason why I'm going to plant more parsnip is because I do need high quality ones. So. And that is it for those. I'm gonna really quickly water everything. And then we do need to find some forageables. I'm going to bring um I am gonna bring a leak with me. I can actually make a field snack right now. I'm gonna bring that with me. Uh, I missed the green bean. Okay. So that's rolling. Uh, give me just a second. I need to grab uh, batteries for my vape. Sorry about that delay. I'm not going to edit that out because it's so short, but a lot of work to do editing for 15 seconds. Okay, so, and we need to start thinking about our Spring Community Center stuff, okay? And we do want to start gathering all the shit we can for Spring this year so we don't have to do it next year. Um, next year is going to be very, very, very busy money-making year. So the more we can get out this spring, the better. But there are some things that we really need to do. For instance, we need to get into the Skull Caverns. So we do need to rack up a bunch of money. So we're not going to go super far out of our way. But we're going to do enough to... Um... I'm glad I made this feel snack. We are going to do enough to uh, make it easier. So... Okay, I like to just throw the chest right down here. I saw somebody else do this in one game. And this spot uh, is just an excellent fishing spot. So. Actually, no, I'm not going to fast forward all of it. I'm going to talk through all of it. So you guys are just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I know it's going to be kind of boring. If you need to, if you want to skip ahead to where I'm not fishing so much, that's fine. But uh, chub are cheap. Um, but they are more expensive than carp, so we're probably going to eat carp. We're looking for largemouth bass here. We'll eat uh, green algae, you know, anything we pull up. Probably gonna need to eat some serious fish this um, this round. So pulling a lot of chub here. I might end up having to eat chub, but and what I did right there is why I changed my emote um, button uh, so I could just hit Y and do my eating really fast. 
this should be the largemouth bass. Now, once I get uh, a few more levels on my fishing, then um, I'll be hitting these perfect almost every time. I'm like, I'm not the best fisherman. I just know that's where the early money is. So, um, and also, um, I once I get through this first two months of fishing, I'm you're gonna very rarely see me fish. So bear with me on this process. It's just, this is where our money is. We need to fill our entire bag with fish today, basically. Because uh, tomorrow we're going to have a lot of stuff to do. And one reason why I took the early bag is so I spend less time running around, you know, gathering up all my shit and hauling it around town. Um, if you don't do an early, with how much fishing I'm doing and stuff and all the shit I'm going to be gathering, if I don't do this early enough, um, it's... I'm gonna if, it, if I don't buy the bag early enough, I have to do, like, multiple runs to haul everything back and forth to get uh, the amount of money processed that I can get. And we don't want to be doing that. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and eat this carp. We're going to go ahead and eat this. And we're going to go ahead and eat this carp. They're cheapos. We're not making much money off of them. But they produce enough energy to kind of get away with everything. Uh, this is all about money, even though uh, the chub do give a little bit more energy. Uh, each chub is valued higher. So, I think... Actually, I think for the energy cost to money cost, I think the chub are actually better to eat. But uh, actually, let me go ahead and eat one because I know I'm going to need more energy. I might eat two, actually. Let me let me pump my energy higher. Let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. I need more energy for the day. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah, let's pop these out. Get all the energy so we don't have to worry about it. We have tons of bait, so... Now I don't have to worry about getting energy. I, I spent a few hundred gold there, but a few hundred gold should make me a lot more gold. As long as I don't um, catch a shit ton of carp, we're good. And my fishing level is just high enough now that I should start hitting um, iridium everything um, here. So, might not hit the largemouth bass iridium every time, but we should start hitting iridium fish. And hopefully we start hitting some um, treasure chests. That would be really nice, and hopefully, hopefully, we get a good sword start off the mines with because that would change the entire flow of this game <laughs> so be careful that's a carp i have to be careful about the slower fish um because i have a tendency to want to jump up really quickly so that's a carp This looks like a chub. I wasn't sure if that was a carp or a chub, but that was a largemouth bass. Okay. This is where we want to be at. We want to be hitting largemouth bass consistently. They get more experience and more money, so. Okay, he's not going to go up there, so we're going to grab the treasure chest. Okay, 
Okay, we got an ancient sword. Not what we're looking for. We do want to get Gunther um, to level 5 this week, too, because we're going to get a bunch of free cauliflower from that. So... faster than I could get. And this is why I bought the fiberglass rod early on, because we've already caught in almost a thousand gold. So this fiberglass rod's gonna pay for itself today. So okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start dropping fish down here. So I can see when my bag fills up. Just in case we do get to that point to filling the bag. I just can never tell if they're going up or down. I am not the best fisherman, so. <laughs> Got about uh, 40 more minutes on this video, I think. So our goal for diving, um, unless we get a sword, is to, and hopefully we get a good luck day tomorrow, but our goal for diving is going to be um, getting down to level 20 to 40. Uh, tomorrow um, we, if it's a bad luck day we're at least going five levels we want to get a club or a mallet um, early on um, we can deal with swords but swords are really not my jam to be honest I like hammers um, because I action cancel um, hammers are not slow I can cast them at the same speed as a sword so um, that is uh, why hammers are just better in general. There's nothing better than a hammer. Okay, we are going to take a second though, and we're just going to talk to Sebastian, okay? Um, and the reason why I'm talking to Sebastian, and I'm going to talk to him every day he comes out, is uh, because every time you talk to somebody, you put 20 points of friendship on them. <laughs> if I talk to Sebastian uh, every day, basically, for the entire month, I'm going to get my two hearts on him, and I'll have access to his room. So, it is the um, the nicest thing about Sebastian. I can really rack up some uh, good friendship with him by standing here and fishing. And he's going to come out here just about every day. So I think largemouth bass are over for the day. Or they're really close to being over, so we're going to start catching chub. Which I am okay with. Come on, sword. Or iridium band would be nice too. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna plant those, um, these rice shoots, okay, because they're free farming experience. And today we can also pass out, okay? We're not gonna lose any money. So I'm gonna fish until I pass out and make just, I just have to hit fishing level five today, which I think I'm already at, so.
Hopefully I don't lose any of my um, cauliflower or anything to crows. I probably should have waited a day to plant all of them, but... chance of me getting this sword today is almost nil because we're a bad luck day but picking up a bunch of extra baits not bad either because we're gonna blow through the bait I, I can tell you that right now i'm gonna do so much fishing that i'm gonna chop through this bait now we don't have to run as far to get back to the farm so we can um, stay just a. L oh no, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pass out here. So Hopefully I get a good run at Chub over cap, uh, over a carp. Uh, that way I can really rack up some cash. So bullheader not bad either. Chubs, man. I actually should have checked my um, experience level and made sure I have level six, uh, level five fishing, but I'm almost positive I have. So let me go ahead and see. Yeah, we hit level five. Um, we're going to hold on to these fish until tomorrow and sell them tomorrow. Um, we're not going to sell them tonight. The reason why we're going to sell them tomorrow is because I'm going to take a talent that's going to make them worth 25% more. Mm -hmm. If I sell them today, then um, I'm going to lose 25% of the profit right there. So... We have just enough money to where I care about that. Um, basically, we can make a couple extra hundred gold. Actually, I need to delete that. Um, delete that event. Be really lucky here. We'll grab a um, grab a sword. Come on! No, <laughs> and a whole bunch of other shit though. Lots of rice. That is really nice, actually. Um, I would like to get those into the ground tonight, but I don't think I'm going to. Fucking sword, baby. Give me the sword. Whoops. Make my life easy. No. 
She ain't going to. We did make a good chunk of money today, though. So... Okay, let me go ahead and hit this real fast. Just so I can start filling my bags with stuff that's important. Um, okay, I thought I had more stuff here. Uh, we do not, so we just fish until we pass out. Make as much money today as we possibly can. Hit this Jojo Cola real fast. We got another hour of fishing to hit up. I think I can hit catfish now successfully, regularly. Uh, we may go ahead and eat. Uh, no, we're not going to eat anything. We're not going to. Um, we're not going to make the uh, end of the day. Let me see if I get this chest popped up, though. So I don't have to make a chest tomorrow. Level six fishing. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and head outside. We are not taking the doggo this time around. I don't want him in my way. Um, I don't have time in the game to sit and fuck around with the dog. So, simply put, we're not, um, we're not doing doggo. Uh, we just, he becomes a nuisance. Uh, if anything, he does not benefit us at all. I know it's very unpopular and probably the worst thing to some people. But, um, he's just too much of a nuisance, so... Oh, I had to spend two gold. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and dump all this fish. I think we're going to have a couple thousand gold worth of fish going out, which is nice. Go ahead and grab these parsnips. We will use these as food for the mines. We're also going to grab this and this for the mines. We're going to take this with us. Uh, we need our pick. I need to water my plants real fast. Hold on. Uh, we'll bring our hoe, too. That's fine. And this is why I do action canceling. Because, um... As you can see, it's just so much quicker. And for this game, um, I can do action canceling regularly. Okay. I do action canceling regularly. And I don't use a um a uh macro normally, but for the sake of time and the sake of sound, I am uh, using a macro for this. Um I actually kind of typically look down upon that, but um Oh, I didn't hit my level of uh, farming. We just hit it. Okay, so we're probably going to lose stuff. That being the case, let me grab this. Okay, I got that, 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 that. Um, let me go ahead and really quickly, let's get these um, rice shoots in the ground. But uh, I, I, I tried 
to um, record because there's a button I hit on my keyboard that I will tell you it just it it makes so so much noise. I'm gonna go ahead and craft a box today instead, and it really uh, is a little bit overwhelming for the senses um, because you're gonna hear me basically every time every time I action cancel. You hear me tap, okay? Which is like, as you can imagine, it's tap, 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 tap. So I, I use my um, my <laughs> my space bar, and it my I have a um, keyboard that makes quite quite a bit of noise. So it's got um, loud keys. So, but typically I do do it normally. It's just. I, for quality of video, and I'm so used to doing it that way that I can't do it any other way. Besides a macro, I could do a macro, but for the quality of the sound, I just macroed it for this. But I can do it normally, so. I'm not uh, a one to um, do something that I couldn't do regularly. So let me grab this leak over here. And this horseradish. Okay, we got some good forgeables for our first run in. Is very nice. Let me just make sure there's not another leak or something down here. Uh, the reason why I made a second chest is because I'm going to drop one in here in the mines and I still need one down uh, by the uh, fishing hole. So, okay, we got a shitty sword. So, uh, that really sucks, but it is what it is. Go ahead and put everything in here real fast. And then I'm going to take stuff out. Three and four. Let me go eat. Um, before we go in, let me hit, eat a couple of horseradish. Just to uh, get a little more energy. Uh, let me go ahead and top off my energy. Let's hit a dandelion here. There we go. I feel a little more comfortable there. Okay, so it is um, mining time. We're going to uh, go in as deep as possible today. We have a shit sword, so it's all about um, getting as deep as possible. We're going to hit all these bugs, though. Every bug we see, we go for it. And the reason why I'm going to kill all these little bugs uh, is because they have a 0.05 chance to drop a um, ancient seed. And that is a, um, it is a big deal. If, if we can get an ancient seed or two in the ground, like the first week here, we are in the money. So, and hopefully we get a better, um, a better weapon than this rusty sword. So, and then also another thing I want to do is I am going to break copper the first day. Uh, I do need to make a forge and I need to get, um, some copper forged. So, we're gonna uh, just about ignore slimes, but I do need um, 25 wood or 25 stone. So, okay, we got a bug here. We gotta go out of our way to kill it. Uh, I'm gonna need to go down here like this, Let's hit him. Okay, we're still good on energy right now. We do also want to get our mining experience up to where we're getting, um, we're getting, um, get off me, dude. Come on. Uh, double ore. So or an extra ore per, um, per node, basically. Uh, that is excellent. That just made our life a whole lot easier. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm not going to try to get through there. We're going to go up and just check for bugs real quick. That's my bag's doing just fine.
I know this seems ridiculous to some people, but believe me. <laughs> believe me. If we get an ancient seed today, we are in a, a really good spot. So. Okay, let's go ahead and break this. I'm kind of looking for a club right now. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this dude. Might give us a bomb or a crab. Got a cherry bomb there, that's nice. Let's go straight over here and let's break these. We need to uh, haul up to um, the next, um, at level 10, we need to haul up to um, zero real fast and load our bags. Snip. Come on, club. If I get a club, I'm going to be in just excellent, an excellent situation. Okay, let me go ahead and hit another parsnip. We're going to probably get stuck on this level for a minute. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and throw the leather boots on. We really don't need them, but we're gonna go up to level zero real fast. Um, we are going to unload our bags. I am gonna grab the cookies. That and that, we're gonna make a forge. This down here. It is early enough in the day that we're gonna eat the cookies. See where our energy goes. Okay, we're not quite there. We're gonna eat these. And hopefully we start getting into, um, actually let me go ahead and start. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start with a copper bar so we get that money. Okay. We're done here. Now that we have that magnet ring, we should be um, in a good position. So I don't need to uh, be as focused on um, I'm actually going to run this one. I want the coal there at the end. I'm not going to break any rocks. It's just wasted energy at this point. So. Let me hit this copper. And get this fucking dude off me. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and break some rocks real quick. Let me get over here. Looking for a club. To kill all these bugs. Try to kill them over the um I need to grab these two. Try to kill them over the dirt, the regular dirt. That way, um that way they can try to spawn a um staircase for us, but it's not always the case. Okay, there's an earth crystal over there. I'm gonna grab it. Try to make some money today. We're gonna go ahead and hope the ground a little bit, looking for uh, cave carrots. Let's 
pop a couple cave carrots real fast. Kind of stuck on this level at the moment. Unless I'm missing something. I don't think I am. Okay. Took a lot of energy to get to. Oops. I think we can probably get 20 if we get uh, enough energy. Let me go ahead and hit my parsnips. We do want to save at least one though. is turning out to be a bad situation. I really don't want to have to um, lose all my parsnips here, so. There it is. Okay, we got to 15. Um, let me go up and empty my bags real fast. Renew my... Um... I wish I could make bug steaks right now, but we can't. So our day may come a little bit shorter than I want it to. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and let's forge the iron bar real fast. Let's get that rolling. Um, I can't make cherry bombs, can I? No, not yet. Okay, let's see if we can get any further. Um, we might be kind of stuck because I, I can't make the food that I want to make. So let's do this actually. Pop this parsnip. See if we can pull up a cave carrot or two. Probably not. There's one. There's two. There's a dwarf helm. Okay, uh, we're in a little better spot now. see how deep we can actually get. We may be wasting our time, but if we get lucky. We can get somewhere. much wiped at this point the only way we can dive deeper is if we kill stuff so let's go ahead and start killing things unfortunately a lot of these kills are going to take just about forever to do so Kill 
these bugs. See how deep we can go with just killing stuff. We're almost running out of time, so. If I can get a club, this will go a lot faster. Uh, we're going to go until we pass out. We're going to see if we can get any deeper. Um, I doubt it, but because I'm completely wiped out on energy. Ah, there's nothing to kill in here. <laughs> Unreal. Okay. Let's see if we can do it any deeper than this. Um, I might get sluggish here. Okay. We're going to keep going because we're definitely going to get mining level one. So... But the goal is not to die, so... Okay. Let me get in a good position to fight these off. Uh, we might actually die here. So I might have to restart the day. Maybe not. I just hoping one of them will pop a staircase for me. Okay. The day ended, but we didn't die. So. Okay, we can make bug steak now, so we're all set. Didn't hit level 20, though. I was hoping they'd hit a staircase, but it was worth so, um, fortune teller. Good humor today. We're going back to the mines. So, uh, I'm taking the bugs with me. Let's, uh, we gotta take this ore with me. We can drop this off right now. That stays, that stays. Coal goes. Okay. Um, now we are in a little bit of predicament because we don't really have much food. So,. I'm going to uh, do just a touch of foraging before we go, but we are going straight up. We do need to make a um, scarecrow though. How much wood do I have here? 16, okay, let me grab this. Let me uh, check the mail too. Okay. I wish I would have hit level 20 there, but it is what it is. Uh, we might make some uh, field snacks. don't need to do that uh, I think I have enough for a filled snack I can definitely do bug steak so but would like a little bit of extra okay that is good let's drop off everything uh, that we don't need Let's go just take a peek at the foraging. We got all day, so let's just go see what's up. Okay, we'll just take a snapshot, see if it's worth our time. Okay, and this is the last day of the video, so. We got some down there. We might run down there. Let me see if it's worth running over here at all. Does not look like it. Let's go get those. Um... Let's.
Let's go get those spring onions. keep us in a good position for today so I'm not trying to dig up a bunch of fucking uh, cave carrots swing by the bus stop and then we'll head up to uh, the mines so as long as we can get to 40 in the next day um, we're in a good spot Because on very good luck days, we want to um, spend a couple days um, getting... Um... No, I can take all this up with me. Okay, cool. Uh, let me hit the bus stop. If we can get to 40, then we can start making sprinklers. And I want to get sprinklers up and running as soon as possible. Got nothing. I really wish I would have hit 20, man. That would have been so nice. I wouldn't have to do another dive, but killing those extra bugs and stuff like that's a good chance at, um, uh, it's Lewis's birthday. I'm not too worried about Lewis. Lewis is an easy one to get up. So I really, unless he's coming up here today, I really don't want to go out of my way to give him a gift. Uh, not on a good luck day. So believe it or not early on, these good luck days are weighted very heavily. Uh, we're going to take a snapshot here, too, uh, just to see if there's any leaks or anything on the other side of the lake. And it will tell me if I need to run to the other side of the lake or not. Nope, nothing. Okie dokie. Uh, let me close all these out. So that's all done. We got what we could get. Go ahead and start forging up some more copper. We'll just keep that, or forging up some more copper. We're just gonna keep that flowing. See where we're at with bug stakes. I didn't make my scarecrow. Uh, we'll have to probably run back and go do that tonight. Or we can say fuck it, so. Okay. We're gonna keep the bug meat with us. Um, we are going to go ahead and hit the filled snack to start off with to get our energy up a little bit here. And let's go ahead and hit this real fast. Start the day with a nice bar of energy. So, okay. Go down to 15, let's start working our way down again. Uh, we're gonna kill bugs every time we see them. Because what we want is ancient seed. So we will actually go out of our way to kill bugs. But it's more important to get to level 40. Plus on top of that, you know, killing all of the uh, mobs in a level um, increases the chance of um, drops of ladders. So Okay. Try to kill him right here. Try to kill him. And the reason I'm killing him really is just for a crab. If he drops a crab, we're in, we're in good. Uh, we're going to drop one there just to try for a cave carrot. Stop for a second. We're gonna kill this bug. I would have got um, a club or a sword. I, I got to level twenty yesterday. We would be um, beating the shit out of these bugs really quickly. So, okay. 
And another thing we're probably going to do is, and I'll probably end up resetting the day multiple times, but we're going to um, probably spend one day this next week just doing bug farming for an ancient seed. I'm not going to go for that copper. I'm just looking for a um, bugs. Let's just go down here. We're going to see if we can kill some more bugs. I would fight those if I had a club or something, but the fact that I don't have a club is not going to be um, worth it, so. Okay, I missed that one. We're going to have a damn fly flying around us here. I'm going to go ahead and just drop the level. Okay, um, we are going to run back up, empty your bags, I'm going to drop off the sword so I can sell it. Okay, we're going to keep that with us. Uh, that can go in here. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, I do keep all the stuff I pick up just to sell it, um, just so I can um, make a little bit of extra cash. All right, let's keep heading in, killing bugs. Let's make our way down. Got our dwarf scroll already, that's nice. Go ahead and just check for bugs before we go any further. We will kill this fly. Because they also have a chance to drop the ancient seed. Should not have done that many hits for that, but it is what it is. Also looking for, uh, I think ancient seeds can be dug up too, so. Let's go ahead and hit a bug stake, because we've got quite a few hours to go here, so. when this happens. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit this other bug steak. Go ahead and make up more bug steak. Grab that earth crystal for cash. We need to go over here and hit all these. I do need to kill 10 um, slimes too. Come on, club. Oh, but we got some cave carrots, so. Got rubber boots. Full trash. The 
our bags are full, so we need to get to the next level. Um, let me look at actually what we need to do here. Let me go ahead and since I have all these cave carrots, we're going to eat these bug steaks. I need to have one slot open. But we're going to toss these boots. We always need to have one slot open. Because we need to be able to pick up the ancient seed. So let's go back up. Let's empty our bags. And then we'll keep diving. Probably can get 30 today. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And a coal. This. Try to kill these guys over there. Come on, baby. Let's dive. We're really disappointed if we don't get an ancient seed today. We really need to. No more bugs. Okay. There we go. Don't see any more bugs. Disappointed I don't have a club yet either. Try to get down to 30. I think that is very possible. Damn it. Get off me, dude. Okay. Nothing of value up there. Nothing of super value down there. We got a bunch of bugs down here. We'll go kill all of them. Turn into a. Oh, got it. Come on, baby. I want you to die. I'm not sure I picked it up and missed it. Nope, not yet. Definitely got a better sword here. Oh, this is eight up to eighteen. Okay, this is better sword. That's a good start. Still no ancient seed though. We don't have a um ladder yet either. Okay, we got our ladder now. Come on, give me the ancient seed. <laughs> All right, we do not have enough time, okay, to make it to the next level. All right, I can tell you that right now. Um, or to make it to make it to the next um, uh, elevator. We're not gonna hit. Uh, we could. We, we. It's possible we could hit it. But so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down to level twenty, and we're gonna kill bugs. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get my ancient seed in the ground, like, immediately. So we got a couple hours. We can possibly kill 
um, get an ancient seed, so we need to take advantage of that. We're gonna do one more, and then we actually have to run home. Okay, no bugs. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get home, so... Let's go ahead and um, get everything that we need to take with us. We're gonna leave this, this, and this here. Okay. Uh, we need to take this with us. We need to take this with us. We need to take this, this, and these. And leave that there. Leave these here. Actually, let's take the bars back with us. These need to come with us. That needs to come with us. Uh, everything except for 50. So let's do this. We're gonna get ready for, um... Okay, that can go, that can go. We're gonna get ready for the expansion of our, um... Of our forging, okay? So I'm gonna need to forge a lot of stuff. Okay, we need to haul ass home. I have enough gold right now. That if I don't make it home at time, I'm gonna lose a chunk of gold. I think we're literally going to get home and walk through the door, so. And that will be the last day of this video. Um, we are going to continue farming um, the mines, okay? We're going to push to 40. We are going to start getting our sprinklers ready. Um, and uh, we're going to farm up. Um, actually, no, I think I have enough time to run out and sell everything. Hold on. We have enough time to sell everything. We're gonna dump this, this, this. Dump those. Okay, these are we're gonna dump the geodes. The omni geodes aren't worth anything, so now we're gonna head in. Okay, foraging is up. Um so we're going to get our sprinklers in order right now. If it's a luck day, if it's a bad luck day, we're going fishing. But we need to get um, we need to get an ancient seed, okay? I may spend an entire day doing ancient seed if I have a very good luck day today. I will, what I basically will do is I will, uh, or bake, uh, so at the beginning of this next video, if this is a good luck day, um, I will um, reset the day until I get an ancient seed. I'll go in there and just kill, kill, kill. I want to get an ancient seed in the ground today. So, as long as I have a luck. Okay, I'm going to do that. So, I will reset, go in, kill, 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 kill until I get an agency drop, and then I'll reset the day. And then I'll probably do that every time we have a good luck day. I will um, go in uh, as long as I have, you know, farm level 20 for copper. And I will do that until I have a seed and I'll do it at the beginning of the video so I don't have to edit a bunch of shit out. But that's going to be it for this video. Go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let me know what you think. Take it easy.